Good day students and welcome back to Succeed in Computer Practice with Mr. H. And in this tutorial, we're going to do a concatenate, a len, a find, and a value function. All right, and we're also going to do a, we're going to do a concatenate and a left formula um, together in one function. All right, so let's jump in, create the following spreadsheet. I've already created my spreadsheet. And then let's do the following. Make use of the appropriate text function to combine the contents in cell B3 and C3 to create the full name in D3. So basically, we need to use something to combine B and C. And that one is very simple. We've done something similar like this before. So it's called the concatenate formula or function. You can either go to formulas, insert function, and try to find the con concatenate function. Right, once you find it, it's asking you for what text are you looking for. Okay, and we are going to need at least three of these little blocks or openings. The first one is you're going to insert Justin information in the last one you're going to insert the surname and between the name and the surname you're going to insert a space but you have to use inverted commas so inverted comma space inverted comma and then you click on oh okay copy your formula down next question Make use of an appropriate text function to count the length of the contents in E3. So this one, we have to go and count the contents in E3. All right, the length. And we're going to need the LEN formula, the length formula. So it's insert function, and then you just go and find len. Click OK. And it's just asking you for one thing. What are you looking for? I want to know how long is this email address. Click on it. And then you click OK. And, it's a, and it specifies that there's 19 letters in that email address. The, the second one is 18, 16, and 18. All right. Now we're going to determine the valid, if this email is valid. All right. And we know that all email addresses has an at sign. So let's see question make use of an appropriate text function to find the at symbol in cell g3 in order to determine whether the contents of e3 is indeed a valid email so we need to go and find the at symbol now for this one we need to go in the, we need to go and find the at symbol and what we're going to do is we're going to use the equals find function again insert function and we're going to type in find Click OK. So now it's going to ask us, remember, we're only going to focus on the bold parts. It wants to know, find text within text. All right, so what do we want to find? We want to find the at symbol. Where do we want to find, where do, you want, we, where do we want Excel to look for the symbol? We want to look for the symbol in cell E3. That's it. And then you close your dialog box or your function argument box and you copy the formula down. Next. Combine the initial only of the student in B3 and his surname, for example, J. Isaacs. Hint, make use of the concatenate and the left formula. All right, so here we have the full name of the student and the surname. And what they want us to show here is only the initial and the surname. Only J. Isaacs, not the full name. So we have to use concatenate and the left function. To do that, do the following. So we're going to do it manually. We're going to click on insert, concatenate. We're going to find it. There it is. And then we're going to directly specify what we want on the left side. All right. We want to combine. We want to use the concatenate function to combine cells. But 
from the left I want B3 semicolon the first digit close bracket semicolon I want a space between the initial and the surname so inverted comma space inverted comma basically you are inserting a space between the inverted commas semicolon I'm done with that and now I want to insert the surname and I'm done with my formula so I can close off the concatenate formula copy the formula so thank you so much students for watching and join me in the next video where we will be discussing how to manipulate a graph and a chart